Warm greetings, lovely beings, and thank you for joining me for this divine feminine reading. Someone close to him is telling him to take a massive step towards you, and today, we will delve into a profound message about the divine masculine present in your life. The energy is converging in ways that have the potential to bring you closer together, and this time marks a significant turning point in your relationship. This reading will assist you in comprehending what is taking place behind the scenes, regardless of whether you are already aware of this connection or are experiencing the subtle adjustments yourself. In this session, we will discuss the energies, the guidance he has received, and the implications for your journey as the Divine Feminine. To get started, let's use the energy the Divine Masculine produces. At this very moment, he is engaged in profound reflection. An assortment of feelings, including excitement, dread, anticipation, and uncertainty, are churning inside him. Recently, he has been going through a lot, both on the inside and the outside, which has resulted in a spiritual awakening for him. Through this awakening, he is becoming more conscious of the genuine emotions he is experiencing and his strong connection with you. Nevertheless, this realization also confuses him as he struggles to overcome outdated beliefs and concerns that have prevented him from moving forward. Despite this, his spirit is aching to move forward, and the guidance he has been given is urging him to proceed in your direction. Let us now turn our attention to the individual guiding the Divine Masculine. Someone who is familiar with him and has a good understanding of his journey could serve as this counselor. This person could be a close friend, a family member, or a spiritual mentor. This individual recognizes the potential present in your connection and desires to provide him with assistance while he makes the appropriate decision. They may have observed how his energy transforms whenever he thinks about you, or it is also possible that they have received the spiritual insights that have guided them to promote him. The Divine Masculine is being encouraged to overcome his concerns and take a leap of faith in your direction counsel, which originates from a place of love and genuine care. So, what exactly was the counsel that was given? The advisor advised the Divine Masculine to refrain from overthinking and consider his heart. They may have brought to your attention that his reluctance is an unwanted source of discomfort and confusion, not only for him but also for you. It is possible that the advice underlined the significance of making the most of the present moment and not allowing fear to control his behavior. They also reassured him that drawing closer to you is not simply a romantic gesture but perhaps a move towards his spiritual development and fulfillment. This advice is a rallying cry, encouraging him to acknowledge his genuine emotions and the prospect of uniting with another person. What kind of reactions does the Divine Masculine have to this instruction now that he has just received it? Even though he is unquestionably experiencing a sense of urgency, there is still a lingering hesitancy. On the one hand, he is confronting his deepest fears and insecurities, but on the other hand, he is feeling inspired and driven by the encouragement that he has received. Because he fears rejection or the unknown, he thinks about whether he is genuinely prepared to get into this connection. Despite these concerns, some of him knows this guidance is correct, he can sense it well. There is a good chance that he is going through a phase of profound introspection, during which he is attempting to reconcile his anxieties with his wishes to move forward. Our attention should now be directed toward you, the Divine Feminine. Your current energy is one of calm strength and resilience, which is impressive. You have had your journey, during which you have been working on yourself and getting in alignment with your higher self. You may be experiencing a mixture of hope and caution due to the fluctuations in the energy of the Divine Masculine. Even though you are open to a romantic partnership, you are also conscious of the significance of self-love and setting boundaries. You are not merely resting passively, instead, you are actively participating in creating your reality, and this strength is bringing the Divine Masculine closer to you. He can sense your energy like a beacon, even though he does not fully comprehend it. Even though you are not in physical contact, there is assertive communication between you. Dreams, intuitive feelings, or even telepathic messages could take the form of manifestations of this phenomenon. 
You might realize that you are thinking about him out of the blue or having feelings that don't appear to derive from your own experiences, these could be echoes of his thoughts and feelings. Similarly, the Divine Masculine is catching up on your energy and experiencing a draw towards you that he cannot adequately express. Even though you are not communicating verbally, this energetic exchange is an essential component of your connection, as it assists both of you in navigating this path. To comprehend the extent of your relationship, we must investigate the links that bind you from previous lives. There is a strong possibility that you and the Divine Masculine have lived together in previous lifetimes, during which comparable dynamics have occurred. In an earlier incarnation, one of you was the one who pursued the other, while the other was the one who was hesitant, which is similar to the situation that you are in now. These experiences from your previous lives are impacting your current connection, bringing with them karmic lessons that you and your partner are both here to learn. Understanding these links from the past can be beneficial to both of you in terms of navigating the issues you are currently facing, as they provide insights into the reoccurring patterns you are here to mend. Regarding his journey toward union, the Divine Masculine faces several obstacles. One of the most significant challenges he faces is his fear, which includes fear of being vulnerable, fear of being rejected, and fear of the unknown. There is a strong connection between specific phobias and things that occurred in the past, from prior lives and this one. It is also possible that he is dealing with pressures from the outside world, such as the expectations of society, the duties of his family, or unresolved relationships. He is being put to the test by these obstacles, compelling him to confront his shadow side and develop beyond it. The trip is challenging, but each obstacle allows him to step into his power and connect himself with his actual purpose. Additionally, you, the Divine Feminine, are confronted with various difficulties. You might be suffering with uncertainties about whether or not this connection will ever materialize or experiencing the weight of emotional wounds from the past. Both of these things could be contributing factors. These difficulties are not merely impediments, instead, they are potent stimulants for your personal development. They instill the values of patience, resiliency, and the significance of loving yourself. Your ability to overcome these obstacles helps you get ready for union and brings you closer to your higher self and aligns with it. It would help if you always remembered that the trip is as significant as the destination and that each step brings you closer to the holy truth you seek. Point one of the most critical aspects of your connection is the divine timing. It is essential to remember that everything takes place at the exact moment it is supposed to. Sometimes, patience is required to follow the plan the universe has devised. You may be experiencing feelings of frustration due to the pace at which things are happening, but have faith that everything is unfolding precisely as it should. The Divine Masculine may require additional time to go through his emotions and conquer his fears, just as you might need extra time to continue healing. When the two of you finally meet, you will both be in the proper emotional and spiritual position and be prepared to move on to the next stage of your journey together. This is because Divine Timing assures that you will be in the appropriate place. The Divine Masculine can achieve several different results if he follows the guidance he has been given. In the near term, he may try to get in touch with you, either by making the first move toward making contact or by expressing his emotions in a manner that he has not done previously. This may be the beginning of a more profound relationship or a reawakening of what you had previously shared. This could result in a more devoted partnership in which you are aligned with your most authentic selves and prepared to start a spiritual journey together. On the other hand, if he hesitates or allows his worries to take control, the link may remain dormant, waiting for another opportunity to present itself when appropriate. Spirit guides are essential to your path because they provide direction, protection, and insight when you require them the most. At this very moment, they are urging both you and the Divine Masculine to have faith in the process. They would like you to know that you are not traveling alone on this journey, instead, the Divine directs every step you take. The message regarding the Divine Masculine is unmistakable, it is time to overcome fear and dive headfirst into his truth. A reminder is being given to him that the collective universe supports individuals who follow their hearts. 
Because you are the Divine Feminine, the Spirit Guides are urging you to continue to care for yourself and to maintain an open mind regarding the opportunities that await you in the future. In addition, they want you to keep your patience and have faith that everything is taking place at the right moment. Finding one's twin flame and soulmate requires forgiveness as an essential component. Not only is it necessary to forgive the Divine Masculine for any past wrongs, but it is also necessary to forgive yourself for any uncertainties or concerns you may have carried. The only thing it accomplishes is to obstruct the flow of love and healing energy between you when you harbor resentment or wrath. By embracing forgiveness, you can let go of these negative feelings and make room for love and harmony. For the Divine Masculine, this also makes it possible for him to have a sense of security and support as he navigates his obstacles. Remember that forgiveness is a gift you offer yourself just as much as it is to others. It releases your heart from the carrying weight of past hurts. You and the Divine Masculine may have wounds from your inner child that need healing. Some deep-seated anxieties and insecurities originate from experiences that occurred during childhood. These fears and insecurities can surface as barriers to your connection. This may need the Divine Masculine to face his anxieties of abandonment or rejection, which hinder him from completely accepting love. You may need to work through the process of healing from prior traumas that have made it difficult for you to trust others or open up totally. One of the most critical steps to unification is healing the inner child. This is because it enables both of you to move forward from a place of completeness and self-love during the process. The healing process can be complicated at times, but it is also highly gratifying because it leads to a better connection and knowledge of each other. Being able to love oneself is the cornerstone of any healthy relationship, but it is of utmost significance when considering the divine masculine and feminine connection. For the Divine Masculine to conquer his anxieties and walk into his actual strength, he needs to learn how to love himself. Because of this self-love, he would have the self-assurance to seek a connection with you without any reservations. Love for oneself is how you, the Divine Feminine, maintain your connection to the Earth and your alignment with your most authentic self. Maintaining appropriate boundaries, honoring your needs, and remaining patient as the connection develops are all made possible by this. You deepen the tie between you by cultivating self-love, creating a solid foundation for a future union or relationship. The universe sends you signs and synchronicities to provide you with direction and guidance while you travel your path. There are various ways in which they can manifest themselves, including recurring numbers, melodies, dreams, or even unexpected encounters that hold profound meaning. These indicators likely encourage the Divine Masculine to take action and reassure him that he is heading in the correct direction. These synchronicities may remind you to maintain patience and trust the process rather than trying to control it. Paying attention to these indications is essential because they are the universe's method of communicating with you, providing you with direction and confirmation as you come closer to oneness. Both visualization and manifestation are powerful skills that can assist you and the Divine Masculine bring about the outcome you envisioned. By envisioning the union and concentrating on the emotions of love, joy, and harmony, you can bring positive energy that attracts these experiences into your life. The Divine Masculine can overcome his worries through imagination and envision himself fearlessly pursuing this connection. You, the Divine Feminine, can use it to bring about the kind of relationship you want, one founded on love, respect, and spiritual development for both parties. Focusing on the positive qualities of the relationship and having faith that the universe is working to bring your visions to life are the keys to success. During the time that the Divine Masculine is processing the advice that he has received, there are things that you can do to get ready for the union. Maintain your efforts to improve yourself by healing still scars and aligning yourself with your highest self. Participating in things that provide happiness and a sense of accomplishment is crucial. Doing so will enhance your vibration and make you more magnetic to the Divine Masculine. In addition to practicing meditation and writing, spending time in nature can also assist you in maintaining a connection to your inner guidance and helping you to remain grounded. Focusing more on your personal development and pleasure will create a more favorable environment for the union's growth. 
As we get to the end of this reading, it is essential to remember that this journey is about personal development just as much as it is about connecting with others. There is a path of spiritual progression that you and the Divine Masculine are traveling, and each step you take takes you closer to your most elevated self. The guidance that he has been given is a vital impetus for transformation, yet the journey still needs to be completed at this point. Even though there will be both difficulties and achievements along the route, each encounter is a chance to develop, acquire new knowledge, and love more sincerely. Take on the adventure with an open heart, secure in the knowledge that the universe is directing you toward the best possible outcome for yourself. It would help if you had faith that everything is happening in divine timing, regardless of whether you come together soon or take more time to harmonize everything.